right, so four years ago when we moved here, we didn't have this uh, pavered area here, this little walkway to the back porch, to the uh, driveway here. And we had some construction here to put the electrical lines in for the solar array that we installed. And uh, so we had to tear all this up. Now I want to tear it all out and do it the right way. <laughs> now I'm, I'm not going to buy any new pavers. I'm going to use the leftover bricks that were from the house. To save us some money that way. But uh, we're going to tear this all up now. And we're going to put about four inches of uh, limestone and pack that down real good. And then we're going to put some probably three quarters of an inch of uh, crushed granite, a little fine stuff on top of that, pack that down real good so the, the uh, brick pavers there can sit on it and they shouldn't move around anymore. So let's get started.
All right, the nice thing about limestone is this is a road-based limestone, so you get the rocks in it, and you get this, these fines. It's kind of wet right now, so it's kind of muddy. Um, these fines here, which is the very fine particles of limestone, and when, when that gets locked around these rocks and it gets tampered down, um, it locks together, and when this dries, it's like concrete. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is I got a six-foot level here, and I'm putting it across this way, and I'm checking it every so many feet all the way till I get down to the end. And what I want is I want to make sure it's level this way, okay? Depending on your situation, you, want, you might want it a little uh, off to one side or the other, uh, depending on your rain and if it's up against a building or whatever. Uh, in my situation here, this way I want it pretty much level, so that's what I'm going for. But this way, I want it to, to be slightly going downhill that way for the rain, obviously. I want to keep, a, keep the rain away from my back porch here. Um, I don't think I've, I'm really going to have a problem with it here uh, because the pavers I had be before here, I just put it right on the grass. I didn't level or do anything, and it was just fine. Um, so, but that's what I'm trying to do is just at least get it level or slightly leaning away from the house. Now with this, get a good size board like there's a 10 footer, a 10 footer, and you can put this down and check if there's any high spots or low spots. And with the rake, what I've been doing is just filling in those high spots or low spots and, and taking down the high spots. Um, so that's what I've been doing here, just raking it all over, spreading it out nice and even. I thought for a while there that I had a little too much of this limestone gravel in here, but I think I'm okay. Um, the bricks and the, uh, the borders that I'm putting, the borders I'm putting are, uh, uh, what are the uh, 8 by 16 cinder blocks or, or concrete blocks. And I'm putting those for the, for the border to keep everything nice and tight. And again, it's what I have. I don't want to go out and buy stuff right now. So now that it's going to be nice and flat and level, um, we're going to tamp it down real good. And then we're going to put about three quarters of an inch of crushed granite. It's got little chunks of granite, about the size of pebbles, and uh, fine granite fines in it. Um, and that stuff will pack down really good. We'll pack that down, level it off again, make sure everything's okay. And then we're going to start laying the brick pavers. Now I was short with this uh, crushed granite here. You gotta love the Lowe's and Home Depot apps. Scan the product, tells me they have 69 left in stock and where it's located, what aisle and what, and what bay it's in. You gotta love those apps, man, because whenever you're looking for a product, it'll tell you where it's at, how many they have, uh, very, very cool compared to the old days, huh? That wasn't that long ago, was it? <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here is bringing the crushed gravel up to my back patio here, 
and I'm laying my brick here and I'm making sure that the brick and the back patio area here is flush with each other. We don't want a trip hazard there, obviously. But um, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm also with this tape measure seeing how wide I actually have to have this because I don't want to waste any or, or use more than I really need to of this crushed granite. Uh, so I'm measuring about the width of where this is going to be and um, and we're going to tamp this all down all the way down. So what I'm doing now is I got my uh, crushed granite pretty much spread out and it looks fairly level. Um, so what I'm doing here is making sure that I got that slight slope going down away from my uh, back patio here and uh, up along the edge there I'm making sure those when I put those bricks on there those pavers that they're flush with the uh, top of the back patio area so there's no trip hazard so now I'm just making sure everything's level and slightly sloped away from the house and then I'm gonna pack it all down real good with the tamper here and uh, we should be ready to start laying bricks. All right, so what I'm doing here now is I'm using these uh, concrete blocks here as a border for my pathway. This is my pathway and then I got my two borders here. Now remember I'm using what I have already. I don't want to have to buy more pavers or anything like that. So if you got a lot of these bricks and blocks laying around you can do something like this. So in my situation these bricks are two and a half inches of the thickness and these are three and a half inches. So we have one inch difference. I have to remove one inch here in order to get this block flush with the top of this here. And the reason why I wanted to use these blocks uh, also is it, it holds everything nice and uh, you know nice and tight because later I'll, when these when this is all placed in here and this is done I'm gonna get some of that um, limestone and fill this area in here on the sides and pack it down real good so it all stays nice and tight. So I basically put that brick back, I'm trying to remove about an inch of this uh, crushed granite here. See what that looks like. That looks pretty good. All right, so what I've been doing here is when I'm laying down the bricks, after I lay a, a couple, I'll tap them like this to push everything together. And also when I put the sides in, get yourself a dead blow hammer like this and just give it a good whack.
and that'll squeeze everything together nice and tight. Uh, when I'm all done with this, I'm going to put some of that limestone about halfway up here, pack it down real good, and then I'll throw some topsoil on there and let the grass grow. Um, but that'll hold everything nice and tight. I could, and I just might still, get some um, metal stakes, some like rebarb or something, a good thick, at least a half inch or bigger, and put them here, drive them down, maybe some, I don't know, two footers, and drive them all the way down until uh, about three quarters of the block. And then um, that'll hold, for sure, hold everything nice and tight. They, I know they do sell borders for uh, pavers like this, and you can use that too and stake those down. I don't think I'm going to need it, but um, that is an option in the future I could do. I can just whack them together nice and tight again and put those stakes down or the border, and, um, and that'll hold it nice and tight. So I am pretty much, well, I'm done with all the brick laying. And uh, on the end here, since I don't have a nice defined straight edge uh, like I do on my porch here, um, so I ended up with a half a brick here, and then I packed it with limestone all the way in the front, all around on the edges also here. Um, so the entire walkway around the outer edge is all packed down with limestone. So it shouldn't shift. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to clean it off real good, all the little pebbles and things that are on here. Clean that off. And what we're going to do now is, if you notice, it's... Now I did pack everything down with the dead blow hammer, packed it together really tight, as tight as I could. And this way too, make sure all the bricks were touching one another. And you still get some that move a little bit. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to get some sand. Now you want to get that really dry, make sure the sand is very dry, almost like an hourglass type sand, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I got this all purpose sand here. And I was looking at it over at Home Depot, and it was one bag was ripped open, and it's that really fine stuff. I mean, it's play sand, but very dry. Um, I didn't want it to be wet when you're putting it on because I want it to fill up all the nooks and crannies. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill up all the nooks and crannies, all the bricks, all the spaces in between. They get filled up with sand, and that'll lock them together, and they won't move anymore. So. That's what we're going to do. Now, you're not going to need a whole lot of sand for this, obviously, because it's not going to, you don't got that much space in between the uh, bricks. I think I can do this. There we go. You know, I might have to cut this open. I didn't want to cut it open. <laughs> but I'm going to have to. I can always use it for my chicken, uh, under my chicken run. There we go.
You know, I could be wrong about this. And now we want to get our broom. And you just want to fill up all the nooks and crannies here. And it looks like we're going to, it's going to take quite a bit of sand. And you can see now it's not taking it all in like it was. So they're filling up. And then I got to remember I'm using bricks, actual house bricks. So they got holes in the bricks also. And those I'm sure are filling up also. If these were regular pavers, uh, they probably wouldn't use that much sand. All right, so it is done. I am very, very happy with it. You know, prior to doing this project, uh, I knew nothing about pavers, just very little bit, very basics. But since I watched a couple of videos on YouTube, now I'm a YouTube professional. So now, this is, this is the results. <laughs> so anyways, very basic, four inches or so of uh, limestone. Get it nice and level, pack it all down real good about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch of crushed granite. Pack that down real good. When you got it all nice and level, start laying your blocks. And after that, after you got everything where you want it, every, I, 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 uh, uh, with the dead blow hammer, I pushed everything nice and tight, all the blocks, squeezed them all together nice and tight, this way and this way. And then filled it all in with sand. I ended up using about three, just over three bags, uh, 60 pound bags of sand. And the reason for it is my bricks have holes in them. And once that sand gets, gets through the crack, it starts filling up those holes in the bricks because actually these were not meant for here. Obviously they're meant for, the, for a house. But um, anyways, three bags is all it took. I think it's only like $5 a bag if that, so it's no big deal. Um, so now that the sand is all in between the, the uh, bricks, they're not moving around anymore. So this, this is like uh, concrete it feels like actually. So I'm happy with it. I hope you guys learned something, something from this because I know I did <laughs> as my first uh, paper job real paper job anyways they come out pretty good this should last much longer than the one i had before obviously because before i put it right on the grass it lasted four years yeah it moved around and all that but this is done right compared to to the way it was and uh so yeah i'm happy with it all right guys so thank you for watching please like subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video